Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Platform Rack right here on our 2021 Chevrolet Trailblazer. So the Destination 2 Bike Rack is probably going to be one of your lighter, portable and easy to transport bike rack. So the way it's designed is it makes it really, really small and com compact behind your vehicle so it doesn't take up too much space. So we'll talk about those different features, the way the bike is mounted to the rack and what you can do with this bike rack, but we're gonna focus on the Chevrolet Trailblazer. That way you can get the best fit for you, your different types of bikes and your vehicle. So the first thing is that this bike rack does not tilt away. If you want something that tilts away with the bikes on in order to access your hatch, that's going to be one of the more premium bike racks. Like the Kluat Transfer V2 2 bike rack has a pretty good tilt away system. The way our bike is mounted here is that we have two wheel straps and then we also have a frame mount. So this is a little different from your regular bike racks because that frame mount can fit really low. So whether you have where your frame is here, you have step through frames, children's bikes, women's bikes, this makes it very versatile. And then you don't have to go around so much. So this moves in 360 degrees. So you can go up, down, left, right, and even around for those different frames of different shapes and different sizes. We're gonna take our bike off though. And to do so, we start at the wheel straps. We have these levers here. You're gonna press that lever, lift up on the strap, and then just kind of like swing it over to the side. That way it doesn't get caught up in your spokes. That's one lever. And then here's our second lever, and that's gonna go to the side. And now we're gonna go over to the frame mount. So hold on to your bike as you do so, but press the lever on that frame mount, lift that strap out of the way, and then we're gonna grab our bike. And the mast is very helpful with how low it is because then we don't have to lift our bike too high just over that mast and we're ready to go on a bike ride. With the bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look at the bike rack itself. First thing is that it has a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike. So pretty normal for a regular bike rack, not as much as what you would need for your heavy electric bikes though. So definitely keep that in mind. Something similar to this with a bit more weight capacity is the Swagman Schnook that I think has a 45 pound weight capacity, which is impressive. Um, this is gonna be very compact. So let's take some measurements to see exactly how much length is added to the back of our Trailblazer. I'm gonna measure from our bumper here to the end of the bike rack by these nice plastic reflectors and it sits at exactly 24 inches or two feet. Very convenient if you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. That's a measurement to keep in mind. It's a good thing your Trailblazer is on the compact side because then you really aren't taking up a lot of space. Ground clearance is gonna be measured at different spots because of the way it's designed. We have like wings on our bike rack. So ground clearance will be from the end of the rack to the ground, 19 and a quarter inches. From the sides of the wings, it's about 14 and a half inches. Compare that to over at the shank, which sits at 10 and a half inches. So ground clearance is helpful because the hitch, especially on this trailblazer, isn't really the tallest. So when you go up those steep inclines, like your driveways or hills, your front's gonna go up, your back is gonna go down. So it's helpful that we have a bit of a shank rise. As I mentioned, we have these wings or these cradles that support your bike's wheels. So notice how these move back and forth to accommodate different wheelbases. The maximum wheelbase you can carry with this is up to 48 inches. Your strap goes inside and tightens down around your wheel. You have those rubber paddings on the top of those straps just to help protect that. The maximum tire width is gonna be about three inches, so your extreme fat bike tires, probably not gonna be the best fit for you. I personally recommend, please put your straps away and just secure them. That way they're not flopping around as you drive around. We are gonna lower the mast here um, but before we do that i want to try out an experiment in terms of hatch clearance with the bikes off you can see how we have plenty of clearance here between our door and our mast allowing us to open up our door 
grab our waters, grab our helmets, grab our bags. We do have to take the bike off, so it's still a little bit more work, but it's nice to see that the Trailblazer store is small enough and this is far enough where we have clearance there. So to lower the mass, it might seem a little tricky at first, but it's very simple. You just loosen this knob just enough to remove this stand. There we go. Swing that to the side, tighten that knob back down, and then we're gonna bring this mast down. You have different options here for securing that mast. You could use your straps for your cradle, so you can use your straps for your mast. That's what I'm gonna do now here. Whichever is easier for you or makes the most sense in terms of your vehicle. And now we're gonna move this into the portable or compact position. So see this clip here? You're gonna to wanna to lift that clip out and that will allow you to rotate this bolt in the back and remove it. Once you have it completely unthreaded, you can just let that swing, bring this up into the folded position, tap that into place and tighten it down. So this is very important because since this is threaded, this is helping secure your bike rack in the compact position. Once you have it fully tightened down, don't forget to put that clip back into place. With it folded up like this, let's take some measurements. Closest point is gonna be from our bumper to the closest part of our bike rack, and that's four inches away. Plenty of clearance there. The length now added though to the back of our trailblazer is gonna be about 10 and a quarter inches. So very compact and definitely helpful when you're driving around town, takes up less space and it's lightweight. Another thing to see too is if we have clearance with it folded up, yes, we do. So that is very helpful. Well, notice how you have our rear window completely visible. Our taillights are visible as well. We saw that the door opened. One thing that is definitely gonna happen is that your license plate and your rear backup camera, though, those are gonna be covered. The good news is with this specific bike rack, we kinda have an opening here, which makes it slightly more visible than compared to other bike racks, but still gonna cover your view. This has an inch and a quarter shank with an included two inch hitch adapter. So that fits right into your Trailblazer's two inch hitch receiver, which we have here. And then this tightens down with an anti-rattle bolt. So that bolt uses a three quarter inch socket. I just use a ratchet wrench, just makes it easier that way. And it creates or it causes the bike rack to secure to that hitch receiver. To demonstrate how that works, I'm gonna do a quick shake test. And as I shake our bike rack over here by the shank, <laughs> notice how I'm really just kind of moving our trailblazer. That's because that connection is secure. I know some people are concerned with a hitch adapter if there's gonna be extra movement, but as you saw, nope, all nice and secure. My personal thoughts about the Hollywood Racks destination is if it's just you and your friend going out for a ride or if it's just you and you need something really easy, really lightweight and compact to put onto your vehicle to carry your bike, this is a good option for you. It's so small that you can even keep it inside of your trunk when not in use. This is also helpful, let's say, if you have a cramped apartment or a cramped garage. Now, if you wanna carry more bikes, let's say you wanna carry three up to four bikes, you might wanna check out the Hollywood Racks Destination 4 bike platform rack very similar design in terms of features with a little bit more capabilities. Something else you might wanna consider is a hanging rack since that's in the same price point, but you don't get the same stability that this platform rack does. So you have your different pros, you have your different cons, Hopefully this video helps you out with figuring out what is the best fit for you, your different types of bikes, and your trailblazer. And that was a look at our Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Platform Rack on our 2021 Chevrolet Trailblazer.